G'day everyone, I'm Teresa Palmer. I play Diana Bishop in the Sky original show, A Discovery of Witches. We are at Bad Wolf Studios. This is where we film A Discovery of Witches. We have filmed two of three seasons here. I am going to take you on a little tour. We are here on the set of the Bodleian Library. This is not the real bod, this is a pretend bod, but I think they've done a really good job. There are lots of amazing ancient texts with lots of different subject matters. Um, it's a really interesting and fascinating book here. What could this be? This is, in fact, the original book of life that we used in season one. Uh, I remember because my character spends a lot of time looking at the binding, she looks at the clasps, and then as you'll see, the first three pages of the book are missing, um, being cut by a straight edge. So maybe that gives us a little bit of a clue as to why Diana Bishop is back in the bod trying to get the book of life. So we're leaving the Bodleian Library and we are now heading on to the congregation. Follow me. Welcome to the Star Chamber. This room is very important because this is where the congregation makes all the big fancy decisions. Right there, and I'm not going to tell you anything else, but let's just say she has her day in court. Probably recognize this set. We are back in Sep Tours. Uh, something happens very early on this season that propels all the characters to meet back here in Sep Tours. We are looking for healing, connection, family, unity, and it all happens right here under this roof. So here we are in the props department. Everything that we see on camera, all the props are held here. These are all um, Sarah's little herbs and tinctures for the house that she has with M. So this is just obviously the witch's den. Oh, I remember this. This is from the Madison house. Um, season one with my aunts. That's actually quite nice. Might like to take that home, that one. I wanted to show you this feral little thing. Oh, there's a spider. I'm like proper afraid of spiders. Um, so that's basically it. What? Oh, what? What are you? Wait, what are you doing casually hanging out in your Harley? Uh, this is where they put me when I'm not filming. I get put in the props department as well. Do you have to just stay here? I just stay here polishing my helmet. Right. Picking up chicks. Picking up chicks, yeah. Cool. Uh, have you finished uh, with your tour? I guess I am done now. So it's time for the Gala Glass behind the scenes tour of Discovery of Witches season three. three. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so right, funny. Right Hilarious. Okay guys. Bye everyone. Hello, I'm Stephen Cree and I play Galaglass, uh, the very hirsute and incredibly muscular character in Sky Original, A Discovery of Witches. Today, I'm going to be taking you on a behind-the-scenes tour of the magic of season three. So we're, we're heading down to uh, one of the sets that we're going to be filming on this week. This is uh, Wolf Studios. And here we go. This is stage three. Set, set's being built. If you could smell on camera, you would smell the fresh paint. Down here uh, is a set that's just uh, being, uh, the finishing touches have been applied. It's just been built this week. And it's a set of a tattoo parlor uh, that we're gonna be filming a very cool scene in tomorrow, but hopefully cool, uh, with myself and Fernando and a tattoo artist uh, and some cool tattoos. So the reason uh, for this scene um, in, uh, in episode six is uh, vampire skin regenerates very quickly. So Galaglass has to get his tattoos uh, reapplied every few months, otherwise they fade. 
and he's got a tattoo in particular that is very close to him, uh, very close to his heart, literally and figuratively. It goes up his arm and across this part of his chest, and it's a tattoo of Cora, which we first see in season two, and Cora is Diana's uh, fire drake, or fire dragon, um, magic that she calls upon uh, that protects her uh, and, um, uh, and looks after her. And when we see, uh, you know, that Galaglass is getting this reapplied, this symbolically tells uh, a bigger story visually uh, than you could ever say in words, even though I've just told you it in words. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the tour of the set uh, of season three. I'm needed on set in a few minutes. I'm going to have to go into my trailer, uh, do roughly a thousand press-ups and a thousand sit-ups, get my costume on, uh, and then go and do some spectacular acting. Um, I hope you enjoy Discovery of Witch to Season 3 when it's out. Hasta la vista. Hey guys, welcome to Season 3 of Discovery of Witches. Behind the scenes, BTS. With um, Ed Blumel. I like it. Dai Shahar. And Adele Leon! Yeah, you got That's to Adele's <laughs> Should we show you around? Yes! Let's do it! Come on then. Right. On, this is my trailer. Food. Nothing. There's, some, there's, some empty, there's an empty porridge bowl in there and that's about it. Um, Speaking of porridge, let's go to catering. Okay. Um, you didn't see him because he hasn't been announced yet. But he will be announced by then. Um, so yeah, sure. Hello. Olivier. Olivier Hello. Cuban. Olivier. Yeah, make sure the old mouse gone. Here's the, um, the salad bar. And, uh, all the condiments. To help with Covid, um, to stop the spread, um, you sit at the end a bit like a sort of romantic sort of dinner scene in a gothic movie a with one candlestick sort of vibe. Usually they reserve them as well. Always We're about to go into, where are we going? We're about to go into, sneak into one of the bedrooms in set tour. Um, so come on in. A set tour of set tour. There it is, there it is. The series three picks up just where series two left off um, after the confrontation with Peter Knox in the, in the, in the sacred grounds of, um, see look, I do pay attention. Yeah, no you do. In the, in the sacred grounds of set tour. Um, and uh, I know that my opening shot is me is you looking in my eye with yeah, a right. oh, yeah. shining a light in my eye because of course I was left lying in the dirt at the end of season two. Yeah. Um, and I nod reassuringly at a uh, very worried Phoebe. Worried Phoebe. Yeah. Yeah. It was one of the best nods I've seen um, on screen and um, we'll that. probably ever hope to see. <laughs> um, so that's where we start. We start with picking up of, uh, with all the drama that was left over and uh, crucially Matthew and Diana returning from um, the Elizabethan period to the present day. I mean, for you guys, you've been on it since day one. It's been across yeah. four years, really. It has been so long. Um, end of an and era. It is an end of an era. And, and I think, like you, I'm just going to miss everybody, the crew, the cast. The um, crew, yeah, very much so. Because mm. a lot of them, well, from when I started on season two to, like, season three, a lot of them have been the same people. So yeah, it's really nice to have the same people. We're now going to play a game. Um, that I made up called Can Aisha Hart Fit in the Crib? Aisha, take it away. Okay. Brilliant, I think that's where we'll end our tour today and you can leave that to your wonderful imaginations. <laughs> I just love it. Bye-bye. <laughs>